Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Pranel Bobby checking in here from Medellin, Colombia. And I wanna tell you how about how the signs are all around you. I wrote this poem, this one's called Black Butterfly. If you're on this right now, you're curious, this is actually a butterfly with a hybrid phoenix mixed in with it. If you're curious about the symbolism behind a black butterfly, especially if it's been reoccurring in your life, this means one to three different things, even more. The interpretation is up to you. I want to briefly read you this poem that I wrote. It literally is only on one page. It'll take you less than 20 seconds. And tune in because this is going to give you my own personal insight on the black butterfly, that transformation, what that's about. <coughs> black butterfly. Eternal flame from time to time and they dim. Transcendent lifetime transformations are kin. As we remember who we are, burning through the stars, caterpillar to butterfly, white to black again. The death of something beautiful, the birth of one that's new, becoming who you are, the one I always knew. Burning in wax distracts our very nature. When burning, relax, make way for blues. Baptize in wind, realize within, to drown in the ocean, salt bays in motion. Cleansing our soul, blue waves to blue flames, white at the tip, black all together. Upon death, mother's light, black butterflies take flight. Transform, reborn, cousin of the phoenix. So there's my black butterfly that I wanted to draw. Here's the cousin of the phoenix. Um, which is also obviously the Institute of Life, the company I'm representing, which is much more than exercise. So if you're here and you're part of this channel because you like a lot of my exercise videos, please feel free. You can go ahead and check that. I'll put some at the end of this video as well. But it's much more than that. And using poetry, using art, using creativity, and uh, these other elements in the world that exist as therapeutic modalities is a huge, huge, huge reason why this company exists and for you to be able to come here to get this type of information from me right now as a spiritual messenger as a medicinal alchemist and and so much more and you're here for the black butterfly so the black butterfly means death and it means transformation so that death is oftentimes the death of a habit of people in your life of an area that you're living in of something that you no longer want something that needed to die in order for the new to be reborn and that is what kind of comes up at the end with upon the death mother's light you know the greatest light that a mother has is her ability to bring a child into the world her ability to uh, use her womb to create right the ultimate manifestation the cousin of the phoenix so knowing that like okay if butterflies, black butterflies specifically, symbolize death of something, that rebirth is very important, which is where this phoenix is as well. And um, all of this, this poem came out to me, just, just to my mind. I just woke up yesterday and I was just writing and it, and it took four minutes. And when I came back to interpret it, I realized how much symbolism was in there, right? So you look at all the colors of the chakras, which are right here, all the colors of the chakras, when combined together, all the colors in the world create black. And that's what's ironic um, because I had this permission, this vision during one of my meditations and my heart was black. And at first I was nervous. And what I realized later, it, it eventually aligned with white and then black into black again. But what I realized was all those colors in combination through going through the chakras, the root, the sacral, the, the expression with the uh, throat chakra, the heart, Crown, the third eye and the illusions that you can see through and, and, and the willpower all these different colors combined they create black and it just let me know where the symbolism part of transformation that like I have found myself no longer being so much of a victim of these different chakras and their bad elements like fear illusion ego attachment um, and so much more grief shame and guilt these are some of the things that block your chakras and I've been really putting an effort on unlocking these things. So for me, that black butterfly was part of that transformation. It was part of the death of being fearful of certain things. And this is what I wanted to bring to you as a part of that transformation, part of that black butterfly um, 
and I happened to see it above the flame. And so for me, a big thing that was happening in my life was my flame. I found it for almost for years, I feel like, has been dimming. And I've been dimming that by not putting value on my name, by not uh, really feeling worthy enough of being who I am and being who I say I am, rather than just putting focus on what I do. And that is really where uh, the centerpiece of self-worth lies. So this is the Black Butterfly. This is just a short, brief, um, you know, explanation about it. Everything else, really, from here, I think it's a lot of the self-explanatory. The Black Butterfly, going from the caliper to the butterfly. Um, this one's important when the when when burning in wax distracts our very nature. So this one's important. It may not have been easily received in the beginning, but when you have a candle that's burning. And this is how I saw the black butterfly, the candle burning. And I looked up to the ceiling and I saw the butterfly for three days um, in my bathroom. All the wax around it is distracting you from the flame itself, right? And if that wax contains to drown that, that wick long enough, it'll take out the flame. And so the symbolism behind that, if you are present with the signs, is that as long as we are focused on everybody outside of us, we will drown our own flame. And that's why my flame has dimmed thankfully as an Aries it is eternal um, but this information I wanted to give to you especially if you're in here as a life path number 11 you 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 have these visions these premonitions you have uh, this connection to the spirit world and you it all makes sense to you and then sometimes it doesn't and so if this was valuable for you please go ahead like subscribe check in with this channel again and again I want to bring you more spiritual messages, more interpretations of the different animals, the different plants, the different signs. You can always just reach out if you have a question. And for now, Bobby, checking in with you. Thank you so much. I love you all. Thanks for subscribing to this channel. I'll see you soon.